Hi, and welcome to Meditation Questions presented by One Mind Dharma. You can download our app and watch this podcast directly on it. You can go to onemindharma.com slash app, um, or you can go to the app store and search One Mind Dharma. You can also email us any questions that you might have at questions at onemindharma.com. And the page for this on our website is onemindharma.com slash ask. So we have a question today that we got on Facebook and someone wanted to know uh, how to get started with meditation. So that's, it's a question we get all the time, um, but just got recently again. And I think that it can be hard with all the different traditions and schools out there and all the different uh, even ways to practice within one school to know like what where do I start and what do I do mm-hmm. and then to throw even more kind of junk on top of that we are inundated with this image of like mindfulness being just sitting there with the breath kind of bearing down my recommendation to start with meditation hands down I you I can throw a bunch of ideas out there but number one is just listen to guided meditations and I know that sounds like you're not you know maybe like an incomplete path to learning about meditation. Um, But it's so hard to sit down and expect ourselves to be able to know exactly what to do, to always keep the mind on track, to do it perfectly when we don't even know what we're doing often. So to find some guided meditations, as Elizabeth mentioned, we have guided meditations uh, on our app, onemindharma.com slash app that you can listen to for free. Uh, You can go to YouTube. There's a lot of different schools and traditions, uh, Buddhist and otherwise, to look at. Insight Timer is another great app that has a lot of guided meditations. But to really start, you know, with a five, 10 minute guided meditation. And if you do that repeatedly, you can begin to understand what the point of the practice is and how it's done. And then you can kind of get the other edge of uh, or the other side of the coin with meditation practice by listening to talks. So this is a great example if you're sitting here listening to this, obviously. Another thing you can do, of course, is uh, look for Dharma Talks. We, I have so many Dharma Talk sites I like. We have our podcast, Dharma Talks, um, which is onemindharma.com slash talk. There's Dharma Seed has a lot of great ones. I like Gil Fronsdale's, which I think is Audio Dharma. Uh, And then one of my favorites is Tara Brock's podcast. Uh, It's B-R-A-C-H, Brock, and she has great talks. But if you are listening to guidance and listening to kind of the explanation of these practices and these teachings, Mm -hmm. you can get a full understanding that comes together. And the last thing I'll throw out is to read. If you really uh, dive into some, I don't think we need to start off by reading the Buddhist suttas because it can be a little dense, but there are a lot of great books, The Path with Heart, which is Uh, A Jack Kornfield book that was very, is one of my favorites. You read it too, I I think, and loved it. Um, Is that the one that has all the practices at the end Mm -hmm. of each chapter, right? Yeah. So it's really pragmatic. But to really uh, take those two pieces of understanding what we're doing during meditation and to understand the teachings is the best. Don't start on your own. You don't have to. So I know that you just named a bunch of um, sources for podcasts and some books, but there's just so many guided meditations and Dharma talks out there. How do you know if it's a good one? First of all, for books, you can visit onemindharma.com slash books to see our list of books that we love. And they're at the bottom, they're separated out by categories. And there's some for beginners in there, I think. Um, how do you separate out the good ones? Well, <laughs> I can give my opinion on what a good one is or a good one isn't. Um, But what that is may not be true for you. So I don't want to tell you specific things to look at. But I will say that um, I think you should find something that resonates with you as true. Something that uh, I look for is, is it useful? And is it kind? So sometimes I've listened to guided meditations, and uh, they'll start out with things like, just focus on the breath. And it's like, whoa, okay, that doesn't, that's not super helpful. I could use a little bit more of instructions on that. Um, something a little more useful. And then sometimes I've heard things like stop, you know, quiet the mind and stop the thinking. 
And I don't personally believe that that's true or possible or useful or kind to do. Uh, as far as finding something that's useful, we do study and practice in a Theravadan lineage of uh, Buddhism. So I often look for teachers in that Theravadan or insight tradition. And the reason I practice in that tradition is uh, because I find it really pragmatic. There's not a lot of kind of other stuff to worry about. I don't sit with, you know, a cushion full of a bunch of different amulets and items or need a bunch of stuff. It's just me practicing wherever I am. I'll name a few teachers uh, that I really like to listen to, both for meditations and talks in that lineage. Um, Jack Kornfield, Sharon Salzberg, Tara Brock, uh, Spring Washam has a really a lot of really nice practices. Larry Yang. Um, and then there's also some monastic teachers I really like. Ajahn Amaro, uh, Ajahn Sumedho, Ajahn Cha has a lot of great teachings. Um, but you find what works for you and what resonates. If you sit with a meditation and it feels like this is not right for me, my recommendation would be to sit it out. And I don't mean to hurt yourself, but really sit it out and be with it and notice, okay, I'm not going to go back to that teacher or that meditation again and try something different the next time. Do you have anything else you'd like to add to that as far as finding something? It can be hard. I That's a good part of the question is finding something that everyone has. Yeah. There are teachers I love and you don't and you love and I don't. Yeah. I really like the recommendation at the end to maybe find a teacher that you like and sit with some of their practices. Yeah. So thank you so much, Matthew, for your answers today. Absolutely. I think some great tips for how to get started. Uh, check out some books. Check out some podcasts. Find a teacher that you like and maybe explore a little bit to see uh, what feels right to you as far as your meditation. Thank you so much for watching this podcast today. Again, you can watch directly on our app, onemindharma.com slash app. And we would love to hear from you with any questions that you want answered on this podcast. Questions at onemindharma.com. Thank you.